Hello, Tom from Every Step Physics, Every Step Calculus dot com. Uh, physics problem, as you can see, concerning planets and uh, orbital periods, and I'm going to my menu. I put quite a few things in their velocity and all the stuff that they ask for on tests, and uh, I'm going to do videos on each one of those menu items. So be prepared. This one, let's do it. Index eight, no physics to get to my menu. And we're going to scroll down here to planets. I have to get used to my menu a little bit. And uh, we're going to go down, it's all alphabetical, so we're going to go down to the P section and look for planets. There it is there. Wait for it to load. Quite a long, large program could break it up into smaller programs but right now it's it's uh, <coughs> one complete program that you load into your calculator of course I got about 360 programs now that you can load in for thirty dollars in my site to buy them and load them in your titanium so you can pass physics class I don't know how anybody passes these classes without some sort of program or something so much to memorize and then you got to do the algebra too here's period in orbit which they're asking for orbital period is what they want us to find press enter <coughs> and I give you a little bit of background and I'm not I don't like to do this too much but this is Kepler's third law t squared divided by a cubed equals k and uh, the Kepler's constant in, in on the earth is one that's involved in each one of these things and generally this uh, program has astronomical units to work that particular program which I'll show you how to do I ask you that in, in the program whether you, there's any AU units shown, but I'll do a movie on it in just a f you know little while, show you how that's done. And I say no, not on this problem. There's no you know, astronomical units. And so the asks if there is a height or altitude given. Well, here's a height above the Earth, so we're going to num choose number two. Yes. We're going to find the period of an uh, of the orbit, given the height or altitude of the orbiting body and mass of the planet it orbits. We're going to enter the height. You have to press alpha first before you enter anything in these entry lines, as I've said on most of my videos. Alpha five hundred. Press enter. And then we're given kil kilometers, so we're going to press number three, use number three, which then I show you the conversion and what what's supposed to happen there. We're going to enter the mass that's given. Mass is given as 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So we're going to press alpha 5.98. Eight, and then times double e here, which is the to the twenty-four. It's the scientific notation, and it's kilograms. We choose that, and they give us the radius <coughs> for the <coughs> Earth, which is alpha six point three. 7 times e to the 3 and then they give you kilometers too so we're going to press number 4 here and do that conversion which is e to the 6 then and I always show you what you've entered you can change in case you made a mistake it's pretty good so we're going to say okay and the remember this 
the orbit is from the center of the Earth to the satellite, or whatever the body is that's orbiting. And um, so you have to add those two together. Here's the Earth's radius, and then, a, you know, and then the above the Earth's surface is the body that's ro are orbiting. Turns out to be 6.87 e to the 6 meters. And the gravitational constant is 6.67 e to the minus 11. That's Newton's gravitational constant. And we do the calculations. Here's the formula, 2 pi times the square root of r cubed divided by g and m. g is the gravitational constant. m is the mass. Actually, you add both of them together, but the mass of the planet that the like the sun is so large or the earth is so large compared to a satellite that it doesn't make any difference but that is in there m plus small m and then we have the radius cubed and the radius is what we found before which is the radius of the earth plus the height above there earth and so you add all those in into the into this formula here which i do here and we do the computations each one just like you would on your paper you write everything down just like this on your test paper or whatever and then we I give you seconds minutes hours days months and years we're looking for e to the zero which is so it's 1.5736 hours it takes for that satellite to go around the orbit where it's above the earth <coughs> pretty fast, huh? Must be traveling pretty fast. So anyways, uh, go to my site, buy my programs, and pass physics. Simple as that. I don't know why you want to, for $30, I don't know why you would not want to do that, given the expense of college. And, you know, you go out and get a pizza, and you're going to pay more than that, probably, and a beer. But anyways, have a good one.